Okay, the best way to create a new reality. This is the most common question you guys have asked me. Um, and we do it by using the creative arts. The creative arts are called that because they're of the creator and they create. Yeah, We're going to focus on two today, which is writing and acting. The reason is, everywhere we see the word act, we see that it changes reality. You tell people to get their act together, act appropriately, at their age. It's because you're telling them to change their reality. In law and in legislation, the Road Traffic Act created a new reality. Yeah, so prior to the Road Traffic Act, we didn't need car insurance. We didn't need driving licenses. Yeah, all we did was get in the car and drive. Now the act is here. Everybody acts differently. It creates a whole new reality and a whole new paradigm in which we exist. Yeah, so the days of driving without the act are gone. Now you act differently. The re reason for this is how you all act is act you all. So how you all act becomes act you all. Yeah? And you created a character by reacting to life. How you reacted created your current character yeah, that you developed. We can change this. We give your character a new title. Yeah? And this new title, once you get it in in feeling, and in consciousness and in spirit, it becomes an entitlement. You're now entitled. And we've seen thousands of people do this throughout history. Whether they be celebrities, singers, actors, dancers, whatever. They change their name. They give themselves a title or a new persona. And that new title and that new persona starts to manifest a new reality. Because as I've told you many times, your mind creates reality and how you feel from within is what's reality in your external world. That's what's manifesting. This manifestation process is as old as the world's major religions. Let's take, for example, uh, Islam, Christianity and Judaism. We see the father of those faiths is Abraham, who used to be known as Abraham, until good or God gave him a title from within which means the father of many nations, and now he is the father of all of these religions in the world. Yeah? And so you take on your title, and your title manifests externally. The second creative art we're going to use, you're going to write it down. You're going to write down this new title. While you're writing it, I want you to imagine it. I want you to get it in feeling. I want you to embrace it. Put it in your chest. Yeah? And what I mean by that, get it in consciousness, get it in spirit. Write how your character looks, feels, talks, smells, acts, dresses. How do they make other people feel? I did this and I became the revolutionary mind coach. Right, so I know this works because it worked for me and for so many of my clients. Key thing for you guys is remember to enjoy it, get your excitement, imagine intensely and vividly, yeah? And just be in the character, yeah? And get it in feeling and make it present tense. You're in the character now. You are that person now. Walk around like that all day as much as you can. We can all do it. So many people say you can't. But the reality is we were all kids once. You pretend to be your favourite celebrity, your favourite sports player. I used to play football and say I'm so-and-so while I'm kicking the ball. Imagine you're that. You've played doctors and nurses before. yeah. So for more creative arts, get the one book. Go to revolutionarymindcoaching.com.